of each man paid $8.5 million for $20 worth of U.S. coins. He said it was worth every penny. Joining us to talk about the historic and rare collection of gold, silver, and copper coins is Steve Contrusi, who actually bought these. I, I'm, I'm amazed. What, they came, in this box they came in? The original set was, this was a special box that Andrew Jackson himself decided what color he wanted it, what materials the box would be made out of, and that's made out of Moroccan leather embossed with the American Eagle on it. Okay, now, now I have some here. I hold it up because it's so valuable. Uh, what, what is this log? Well, when the, uh, the initial uh, diplomat went to the Far East and the, uh, and the Middle East to try to work out trade agreements with uh, Siam and um, Muscat in China, he, he went on a ship. And this is the actual ship logs of the S USSS Peacock, which was the actual ship that transported these sets as diplomatic gifts to the King of Siam and the uh, Sultan of Muscat. Now, why, why are these coins so valuable? Well, this particular set, this is the first time a United States proof set mm -hmm. was, ever, uh, was ever made. I mean, mm -hmm. this was specifically made for diplomatic reasons. It was a diplomatic gift that Andrew Jackson wanted to give to uh, the King of Siam and the Sultan of Muscat. Um, the coins were made in 1834. However, the dollar and the $10 gold pieces are dated 1804. What happened was they simply made a mistake. They thought that, they, if one check in the mint records, that they made 19,500 silver dollars in 1804, when in reality those coins were delivered in 1804 and really dated 1803. So when Andrew Jackson you know, dictated that he wanted the coins of the realm to be produced, they made all the regular coins from 1834, and they went back and found out that the last time they made a dollar and a ten dollar gold piece was 1804, so they made 1804 silver dollars. Lo and behold, they created the greatest numismatic rarity ever, the <laughs> silver dollar. What does this mean to a, a coin collector? And you are, your company is one of the biggest on the West Coast right. to, to own this collection. Well, Rare Coin Wholesalers uh, is noted for buying the first of, uh, of an item. For instance, uh, previous, about two years ago, we ended up purchasing the first silver dollar that was ever struck uh, by our government. Uh, within the last year, we purchased the first gold coin made for the United States, the 1787 Bradshaw balloon. Yeah. This is the first United States proof set made. <laughs> now, now what, this, this coin, even though it has a, a, a year earlier on the date, what, what's the value on this one? Well, that coin actually was made, I know it has, it's dated 1803, and its value is, uh, is over a million dollars, but that coin was probably made 30 years after the 1804 dollar that was made for that set. They're not actually supposed to do that, are they? No, it's, it's illegal. Okay. <laughs> how, how, did, how did you get into coin collecting? Uh, when I was a child, I, I, I was born and raised in the Bronx, and I, uh, I had a paper route, and I just went through my pennies and went through my nickels and started filling in those little blue yeah, whole, yeah. folders. I yeah. mean, everybody had those little blue folders, didn't they? What's the first uh, real rare coin you ever bought, you ever had? Well, I, I, after being frustrated and trying to find coins to fill in certain holes in some of those blue folders, I found out I can go to a local coin shop and just pay a little premium and right. buy those coins. Thank so you very much for doing. bringing us in, showing us uh, the good. This log is just absolutely incredible. It's really great. Thank you so very much.